hey girl hey hey boy hey welcome or welcome back to the channel i am shika if you're new and welcome to a new video y'all today's video is super duper exciting today we are going to pack my baby bag if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing not only check out this video but go ahead and check out a few other videos and consider subscribing we are lit here we have a lot of exciting content coming up like my labor and delivery vlog because obviously i will be delivering soon so if you are interested in what i put in my baby bag stay tuned so this is one of many of baby boy's diaper bags and I specifically chose this bag um, to pack his hospital things in simply because it matches my hospital bag. So let's get into it. Let's go ahead and take it out of the bag. It has a nice protecting coat over it. If I can get it out, y'all, it's so tight. So this is how the bag look straight out of the protecting bag you can carry it like this with the two straps at the top or you can go ahead and wear it like a backpack because they also have the straps in the back and it from the front we have a, a zipper pocket here we have a zipper pocket here where you can put like bottles and things you have a zipper pocket up here where you can put more things there's two pockets on the sides for like bottles or whatever you want to put in there. And then even like here on the side of one of the pockets, like you could put some wipes or something in here and just unzipping it and pull like a wipe out of it. So I love that. And that's just on one side, like the zipper on the pocket, that's just on one side. When you turn it over on the back, there's a zipper pocket here too. So you can stick some things in here and then of course there's the pocket at the top and you open it up this is what the inside look like like as soon as you unzipping it this is exactly what it looks like so on the inside we have like a, a pacifier holder I would think this is pacifier holder and then it comes with I don't know what this is maybe this is like a changing thing let's open it up and see maybe this is like a changing pad or something like that I don't know okay that's exactly what it is and this one is huge. I never seen like a a changing pad that looks like this. It's super thick, super durable. It's nice. So that's what came inside of the bag. You have some compartments on the inside. You can put stuff right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. There's two little pockets here on the side. On the opposite side, it have like a zipper where you can put stuff in. Oh wow, there's like this little charging thing right here too. Look like you can charge a device up or something. Let me find out. Cause it look like, what it looks like is you plug this up to like a, um, a wall piece and like you charge up the bag itself. And then Probably somewhere on the inside of here, you can plug up like a phone or something, girl. I don't know. Oh, what is this? Oh, look. I didn't even see this on the side. You can plug up some kind of device right here. 
Wow. Okay, child. So this is the bag I'm thinking we're gonna bring to the hospital because really we don't need a lot of stuff for a baby boy. So with that being said, let's move on to his clothes. We're gonna do this little set right here. Y'all, and I think it's so cute. This little onesie with the pants that go with it. And then it also comes with a hat and all of his clothes that I'm showing you guys today is washed. I went ahead and washed it. Unlike these up here, y'all, I'm still working to get stuff done. But this is one of his outfits. If you are following me on my Instagram, you already saw this outfit in my stories. If you are not following me, I don't know what you're waiting for. My social media handles are always in my description box below, so check it out. So here's the next outfit. It's a pair of pants as well with a onesie. Super cute. And this one as well come with a hat. I'm loving it, y'all. So this is outfit number two. And all of these clothes that I'm showing you guys are zero to three months. Zero to three months. I really feel like we're gonna have a big boy. So, zero to three months. Our next little outfit is like a four piece. So we have these bottoms with the little feet in them. Y'all love the feet. We have, we have the onesie that goes with it. We got a hat that goes with this as well. There's the hat. And last but not least, this one here comes with the bib. How stinking cute is this, y'all? So that's this little get up. Love it, love it, love it. This might be what he wear to come home in, y'all, but I don't know. I don't know. We have like a, a sleeper. This is gender neutral. I love it, y'all. This here is newborn. So this is the only newborn thing that um, I'm bringing to the hospital because again, I really don't know how um, big or small he's gonna be. I know he's gonna be at least six pounds, at least. So this thing here might be too small for him, but we're gonna see. But this is like a, um, a sleeper with the little feet, love it. It also comes with a hat. And then not only does it come with the hat, but it came with this little thing too. And I was kind of confused, cause I'm like, this look like a dress and we're having a boy. But I was informed that this is like a type of swaddle. Y'all let me know in the comments down below because I'm on the fence about letting my baby wear this now he definitely could wear this because this is gender neutral but this i don't, I don't know i'm still learning when it comes to this baby stuff because y'all know this is my first baby so i don't know but this the outfit next outfit y'all i almost forgot about this outfit i told y'all the last outfit that y'all saw was the only newborn outfit that we're bringing but i lied just a little bit so here's the next one. Y'all is so small, but it's so stinking cute. It says, hi, I'm new here. So cute. It's a um, it's not really a sleeper. It don't have like the feet in, in here. Um, it comes with this. It comes with the mittens. And it also comes with the hat. So that's this outfit. We have two sleepers. So we have this one. My job is still a, a zero to three month. It's just long. 
So we have this Winnie the Pooh um, sleeper here with the feet in them. And then I have this sleeper. It's so cute. This one here has the feet in them as well. And then um, it has a little thing where you can like cover up his hands. I think the, the other one had that too. I just really didn't pay it attention. But that's his clothes that's going in his bag, right? So I did um wash some receiving blankets. I have four receiving blankets. I really don't think I need four. Y'all, I think I'm going to just take two. I don't know. His mama is extra. I think I'm going to just take two um, receiving blankets. Because I know they have the little blankets at the hospital. Even though I want my baby to be in his own stuff. Um, I'm thinking about two. But then when you think about it, y'all. Y'all know babies be pooping and stuff. So... I don't really know how long we're going to be in there. I was told I'm going to be in there at least two days. I'm not sure if that's true or not. But if he have a blowout or something and mess up his receiving blankets, like when I, because I'm going to swaddle him in these. If he mess these two up, then he not going to have no more. So I think I'm going to do four. Call me extra. Let me know in the comments down below if you would do two or four. But I'm going to do four. So I'm going to put these in here. And then, y'all. So, I also packed three blankets. I know this boy don't need no three blankets. I know he don't. He probably really don't even need no blanket in there. It's just me that's going to be extra. So, I think I'm just going to take... I don't know y'all it's hard because he had this blanket here that goes with um his outfit remember the outfit that i told y'all um i think it's gonna be his going home outfit it comes with a blanket like a matching blanket so i know for sure i want to bring this one here um he has two more that i was gonna pack which is like this one here. This is the pattern of it. And then he has a blanket with his name on it. And I was going to bring that one as well. This is the one with his name on it. He have this blanket and he have a, swad a swaddle with his, blank with his name on it. And I was going to bring this. Simply because it's cute and it has his name on it, you know? So, I don't know, y'all. I'm just being extra as hell as usual. But, um, I don't know, y'all. Help me out in the comments. Should I or should I not bring two blankets? Because, honestly speaking, I feel like the only time he probably be in these blankets is probably when like he's in somebody's arms or something because when they laying in that bed or could it go around him like around his lower parts while he in the bed swaddled up because I know they don't really be liking a lot of stuff on those newborns I don't know y'all I'm gonna put it in there anyway moving right along we have his pacifier clips I don't think I'm going to take, I don't think I should take all of these. I think I'm going to take like one out. I think I'm going to take one of these out. But this is a pacifier clip. And then I got him these happy, oops, I got him these happy passy um, pacifiers. Hopefully he liked these y'all. I'm hearing that mostly all newborns like the pacifiers that's in the hospital. Y'all, I think those are so ugly. But whatever my baby like is what he's going to get. Um, I'm going to probably take one of these out of here. Actually, I'm going to take all of them out of here and sanitize them. And then I'm going to put one inside his pacifier case. I'm going to take one of the um, clips and stick it inside. 
of the bag and that's gonna go inside as well he have a brush and a comb um that i'm gonna bring i know he gonna have hair y'all can see my hair if y'all been here for a while y'all see my husband got hair heartburn's been on 99,000, so i know my baby gonna have some hair y'all um <clears throat> not pictured or not here in my possession is t-shirts his t-shirts are in the dryer right now so i literally just have to go out there and get um those fold them up and put them inside um just earlier today daddy went and bought him some more socks excuse me this baby have a lot of socks y'all but unfortunately all of his socks is like six months and beyond i'm talking about when i say beyond like 24 months like youth socks he have socks like that big but i can't do nothing with those right now so um that's that daddy went and got that um i'm trying to think what else do i need to pack for him I really don't think I need to bring anything else for him because the hospital is going to have everything. I'm not bringing none of his diapers. I'm not bringing none of his wipes because the hospital has a shit ton of that. The hospital has a lot of that stuff. So it makes no sense for me to pack his, you know, from the house. We're going to use their stuff. Um, as far as feeding goes... Y'all, I am going to try to breastfeed my baby. I have a breast pump here. I'm going to bring my breast pump to the hospital so they can kind of like help me or show me how to, you know, hook it up and use it and stuff. Because girl, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. So <clears throat> I'm going to bring the breast pump. And I also want to formula feed him. I want to breastfeed him and formula feed him. And the formula of my choice is going to be the Infamil um, Gentle. I can't remember what it is. It's called Gentle something. But that's the one I want to use in the purple um, can. So I'm going to bring some of that with me to the hospital because I'm unsure if they have that there at the hospital. I know they have like the yellow one. But I want him, Gentle Ease, that's what it's called. Gentle Ease. I know they have the yellow one at the hospital, but I want him on the purple one. My doctor told me when he first come out, if I'm going to breastfeed him, she recommend that I put him on a boob, you know, for the first few days so he can get the colostrum. I think that's what it's called. So, yeah, that's that. But anywho... I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and consider subscribing. You don't want to miss baby AJ. He will be here really, really, really soon. Until next time, bye.